with a Niger level of reunion show and your favorite housemates are here once again. The guy came. Most of can you read them? Ten ways to win. Most people, if you raise your dead career, please. My dear, go and die. I don't know what's your problem. And let's go and shoot four hours. You're telling me I like you. When I did my Big Brother Nigeria uh, reunion um, realistic expectations, this snippet hasn't came out. So watching this snippet, I've increased my expectations now. So um, guys, I, I have a whole lot of dynamics of things that happen in the show that I want to point out, mostly focusing on ships, guys focusing on shoes maybe if there's time then we talk about the dramas the basketballs that went through shoes so let's analyze the uh snipers if the sniper someone say oh when you were sneaking into my room um another person will oh i cannot raise your dead career and i'm like <laughs> do in therapy do you say oh this person is a liar he's just a liar i'm like okay what is going on here so i i <laughs> i am anticipating the reunion guys the reunion is starting on monday and i can't really wait so hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing this is messi bella on your screen if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell at any time i upload a new video you will get notification guys um the dynamics of shifts that happened in the big brother's house okay the first person the first ship i want to know what is going on there like <laughs> what is going on is mostly the shella ships guys the shella ships i want to understand the dynamics i want to understand they are still together because these people have been giving us pepper them pictures on the gram oh my god they have been giving us like back to back the uh, couple a uh, goal trying so hard to prove to us that sex is not that violent that uh, abusive person that we watched in the show guys they are trying so hard to give us a picture perfect couple of the shella and i'm like okay <laughs> okay so uh, how did they get there how what happened like the bella didn't mind about everything that went down in the show like the whole you are mad you are crazy like it's a lot of abusive words that came from shakes shakes was extremely abusive mostly with his words if not for the cameras in that house trust me shakes have could have thrown punches in that house on bella so Bella coming outside the house has said, Oh, I wasn't abused in any way. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm good. Blah, blah, blah. Because of Santorino ship. In fact, this luxury life that Shakes um, painted in the house, are they really living it? <laughs> are they really living this? Oh, I am Mr. Ikoi. My father is rich. My father is this is shanks and bella really living that luxury that they painted in the house that oh bella will come if it's not expensive i don't want it i don't know okay so i want to understand what is going on with, with the shella ship guys you guys remember some time ago um bella uh, showed a an engagement video on instagram and shake the way she debunked that engagement eh? Oh my god it was extremely disrespectful and like you still have this bad attitude in fact they say these people these abusers can never change so you still have this bad attitude who is engaged and uh, like you can't you have a reasonable way to debunk a story instead of you um trolling bella under the bus so yeah guys the shella ship i want to understand if Shex is still that toxic person moving on to the groovy ships guys <laughs> oh my god how i, I don't think it groovy is still together you understand it fina did a an interview telling us that oh she never dated groovy and i'm like what <laughs> what are you kidding me 
wow nah this lie is not lying in fact the lie is not aligning aligning whatever so group uh, groovy guys i want to understand because the way that shift started in the house it started with backstabbing it started with gaslighting it started with oh i want to enter this thing by all means i haven't been giving attention forever for a long time i need to save this particular attention blah 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 like that is the way um, fina desperately entered in that ship with groovy without uh, no not minding um trolling her friends under the bus and maka under the bus which amaka is not a saint in all of this i mean see nobody should see amaka as any victim mm -mm. amaka is not any victim amaka has her own you understand like if not you are maka and fina we are very we are very close to beauty so why was amaka wanting groovy why was Amaka clamoring for Groovy? So both of them, uh, Amaka and Fina played it themselves. And yeah, <laughs> uh, Amaka because is now forming the victim. So none of them is a victim. But yeah, I want to see the, what happened between the Groovy and the Fina situation because it started with a, a very bad uh beginning you understand it didn't start with a good beginning and i hope that uh oh oh oh, oh. so the bu bu groofy abi grew what did they call them beef beefy abi groovy yes the groovy sheep <laughs> groovy and uh, beauty sheep like how did they resolve that that situation guys because <laughs> how did they resolve in that situation because the way everything went inside that house it was toxic ah! groovy beauty was given bass bows in fact beauty won the award of the most abusive partner in this year in last year big brother level up season so guys what happened what was going on there like what happened why are they back or not did they settle their grief did uh beauty was beauty able to handle herself in the reunion because fina is a fire fire you understand she's a firefighter was beauty able to stand her ground and say no to book shit so yeah so beauty uh, and groovy situation she, I want to see how a buka a buka handled it. So another ship, another eh, eh Chomzi and Hello Swag. <laughs> Hello Chomzi. <laughs> Hello Swag, right from time in the house, has proven himself to be a coward. You understand? He has always been a coward, and I think inside this reunion too, he's a coward. He is always um he has inferiority complex, you understand? So I don't know if I don't think that ship survived even two weeks after the show. <laughs> because if inside the show, um the show the ship wasn't surviving. In fact, they were not in a in a in a relationship, they were in a situation <laughs> because guys in the level up season all the whole housemates are trying so hard we are trying so hard to be in a, in a relationship all of them wanted themselves to be in a ship in fact everybody wants to come body in fact when is not love island so moving on to another ship i know what See, I want to know how Idoin handled Adekule, like therapy doing, <laughs> Aprocom therapy doing. So you guys, Idoin come came with another character in this uh, in, the, in the last year level of uh, um, house um, big brothers. So see, Doin ha, Doin is such an interesting personality. Um, she's that person that is so blunt. She's that person that will tell you the truth to your face, no matter whoever is involved. Like Doyin is such a a straight talker. So I want to know who Doyin was telling. Oh, I you are a liar. This boy is a liar. So for the, inside the snippet, inside the snippet or snippet, whatever. But inside the snippet, I saw um 
Fina telling someone that he is she's uh, she cannot revive their dead career and I'm like Fina do you have a career too <laughs> I don't understand you cannot revive people's career but who are you a career in fact for Chichi and Fina hi guys I'm still wondering what happened between them like what problem do they have inside the house because i can remember vividly fina and uh, um, chichi took finas to the finale to the finale so like what 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 so i don't understand whatever is happening there i, I whatever their problem is why they are beefing i still i'm still trying to understand it there is this flyer that came out from the African Magic website, our African Magic page, uh, where uh, Rachel and the uh, Chichi was going at each other. I'm like, did Chichi and Rachel had issue? When, where, how? So we will find out in the reunion, guys. Are you guys anticipating the Big Brother Niger level love reunion? As I am, just put your opinions in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.